What's good guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing the gel Felix SBC. This is something a little bit different to usual I do, you know. I usually always like keep away from SBCs because I think they're a way for EA to basically suck people's coins out so their teams are not as good. So I usually recommend people not to do them but there are some SBCs what are just definitely worth doing. I'm not going to say gel Felix is definitely worth doing because I haven't got to obviously use them in game yet but after I complete this SBC, I'm going to play a few games with it and put a play review and then upload that later on in the week. But before we get into the SBC, a little bit of insight about myself and what's going on with the channel this month. We're doing a thing called Daily Double December. This is basically where I upload two times a day, one around 3 o'clock, one around 7 o'clock. And we try and just get as much content as possible in December, try and end 2020 on a bang, on a good note. So if you ain't subscribed... I believe 80% of people who watch my videos are not subscribed, so hit that subscription button, hit the notification bell. As I said, loads of content coming out, loads of highlights, uh, pro versus pro stuff, you know, you literally name it, it's basically coming for you guys. But yeah, hit the subscription button, hit the notification bell so you're notified when I upload, leave a like and leave a comment, but let's also get into the SBC. So yeah, if I keep looking to the left of basically doing this SBC is because I am basically checking who goes in where because I brought everyone off the market. Usually what I do when it comes to like doing SBCs and I'm not really wanting to use stuff in my club, I'm not too bothered about that. I go to things like Footbin, Footwiz, Foothead or whatever um, and check what SBC things they've got there. And obviously Footbin was the one that we used this time. So do the 87, but yeah, as you see, like this is the Jail Felix card actually. Let's quickly just talk about it. 87 pace, 89 shoot, 82 pass, 89 dribble, 78 physical, 5 foot 11, medium, medium, 5 star skill, it's 4 star weak foot. I think it should be a really fun card to use, especially on weekend league and stuff. I'll probably use them, but I'm not really too sure. There's um, a predicament what I'm going through at the moment, but I'll talk about that in the highlights. And and stuff like that really when it comes to playing FIFA as much as I am and stuff so if you wanted to know basically my thought process about playing FIFA and so on watch the highlights and you'll get to see maybe the thought process of being a pro player but let's get into this SBC real quick we've got Kyle Navas and Allison. what I will do as well is basically just show you how much I bought uh, for literally the day of basically this coming out is the day uh, I complete the SBC so it'll be around the Rough price given us as an endless one. I don't know why he's uh, doing the wrong one as well. Oh my god. Imagine if I did that mistake. Imagine if I put the 87 stuff into the 84. Oh my god, I would have cried. I would have cried. Right, let's go again. <sighs> this is the hardest bit about the SBCs. Going through all the club. I'm not actually too sure who I'm missing. That's a bit of a. Aha, I do know. Whistle. Right, that's everyone <laughs> now in the right SVC. Let's get this. Yeah, I think this uh, SVC, he should be good, you know, like from looking at his stats and stuff, he should be quite a fun card to use, a pretty usable card to use. What I'm seeing from him is like sort of Neymar vibes, you know, um, but obviously playing in game, he might not feel like Neymar. Um, but let me just quickly go over these prices 35k, 46, 58. 42, well, 42, sorry. First owner, untradeable, 5k. First owner, 4.8, 5.6, 45, and 4.4. As I said, this probably cost me about 400k, maybe a little bit less. Obviously, we get rare electron packs and stuff like that. But yeah, I think this card, like, I'm getting Neymar vibes, and that's like the person who I was going to replace him with in my team. So, it should be quite an interesting one to sort of see how it sort of plays out and stuff. Some cards look crazy, like, stat wise, and then when you play them, in game and they're just not the same person you know um i do need to get somebody quickly out of the transfer list uh before we get a little bit further in this i need to get that navas out but yeah i kind of want to test him as well for pro versus pro qualifiers and stuff so um that's uh obviously something i need to consider is obviously who i'm going to be using in uh pro versus pro qualifier stuff there's restrictions to the teams and jalfi it sort of fits perfect into that sort of um restriction so if he's good and he's usable, definitely gonna probably come in, if I'll be honest with you. Everything is sort of leaning towards that like, he should be good in game, but you know, as I said, some cards they, they look really good, but you play with them in game and just they're not the same. I hate the menus, man. The P like the new consoles menus are so much better than this man, it's actually crazy. Like this just feels like constantly delayed, you know. I feel like you press something and it just never happens. And I feel like that happens in game as well. I think it's because it happens in the menus, people are very sceptical of what's going to happen like in-game, if that makes sense. Because if it's being delayed now, what's 
but I was saying that it's not going to be delayed um, when we play, you know, so yeah, um, let's put these players in. But like I say, uh, if you guys want to know a little bit more about some four presses really when it comes to FIFA right now and its current state and stuff like that, um, I think I tweeted, no, I did tweet, no, I don't think, I, I tweeted uh, yesterday, um, I lost the game basically in Weekend League, it was, uh, yes, I probably could have done a, f a few things different, I ain't got a problem with that, but I'm bored of playing Weekend League and stuff like that, so I'm going to quickly just go, prices, 35k, 12, 12, first owner, 2, 5, 11, 1.6, 10k, 10k, and 10k. But yeah, I'm getting a bit bored of Weekend League. The fact that we have to play it for pro stuff and stuff like that is kind of, it's kind of boring, I'll be honest with you. Um, I just find it pointless that we have to do the things we have to do to compete and so on. And it's getting a little bit draining sort of in the mental side. So I'm kind of like cutting down with how much I'm probably gonna play FIFA. Um, I'm still obviously going to be playing a decent amount because there's a, there's one thing with FIFA what makes me want to play it is the competitive stuff, um, like actually playing in tournaments and so on. Because obviously I get that itch from like when I was younger with competitive FIFA and so on. I get that, and that's like the thing was sort of driving me on to constantly play. And that's not really like the reason you want to be playing. You want to be playing because you're having fun and so on. But for me, I just find weekend league so draining super boring like unrewarding and stuff you know like i could go on and on and i think we all know really like what it's like you know playing fifa i think we all go through the same struggles and so on so gonna be taking i wouldn't say a step back because there's gonna be still loads of content coming out this month and so on but in the sense of what i'm playing and how much i'm playing like i'm trying to basically be more productive with my time um maybe a little bit more efficient with my time as well for example um, I think it was like Thursday, I was playing Rivals just for the sake of playing, you know, like I wasn't like trying to improve or anything, I was just there to play, I wasn't like interested in trying to work something to get better at, it was just more so I'm playing for the sake of playing, so that's something I want to like change up for the future, like when I'm playing, there's an objective behind playing and that's what I'm trying to improve, so when I do do the like competitive stuff, um, i prepared and I've practice stuff you know what I want to put in place but 4.6 for Schmeichel 11k for Ricardo Pereira 4.6 for Patricio 11k for Obonna Digne 5.4 10k for Rodri 1k for Ruben 1.9 for uh, Martinho 4.7 Corona 5k for Jimenez and first donor Rafa but yeah as I was saying like it's just uh it's one of those things what I know after time it will be fine and I think if I use my time differently it's gonna be uh, better so that's basically the main reason like behind everything at the moment is to just try and make sure I'm uh, doing the best I can really for myself you know just to, so when I play I'm enjoying it and so on so uh, yeah that's a gel feeling it's complete something like the 60 games on a weekend stuff like that I need to like basically cut down on because I think it's just too much um, too much work so um, but yeah, my team's so good on the PlayStation account before I switched over to Xbox for the competitive stuff It's a little bit hard to just be like, oh, I'm not gonna do anything on the Xbox, uh, on the PlayStation So it's a, it's a tough situation to be in um, To be honest with you, but I'm trying to figure out a few things um, to see what we can do But we do get a walkout inform from this pack. I don't even know who's like in the pack. It's Wag Horse, I think 84 rated to take that indeed, you know, any any player is good back from this. We was only doing it for the SV, but for the actual gel feeders rather than the uh, pack. So that's a nice little ending to it. But let me know if you guys have got like sort of similar feelings towards this FIFA. That the fact that it's not so much, um, well, the game has its issues, of course. Oh wait, what's this? Orange card. Argentina goalkeeper. What's this? Man of the match. Okay. Uh, yeah, let me know like what your four processes on this FIFA. Like, are you guys enjoying it? Or are you kind of finding it like myself? Like, it's quite repetitive. It's the same thing year in, year out. Nothing's changing. Um, and I think it's good to have change in games such as like FIFA. Um, 
other games like CSGO and stuff like that, they are constantly de developing the game in a sense of like strategy and stuff. So that game has longevity, but we play FIFA where it's just football. So you need like different game modes and different things and changing it up week, year in, year out um, to keep the the consumers basically like happy and like, you know, consuming the content like the way they want. But hey, what do I know? Maybe I just sit here and just um, enjoy playing when I do play, you know, but that'd be it for the video, guys. As I said, there'll be a Jal Felix uh, review coming out in the next couple of days. Keep an eye out for that and also loads of other uploads. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And peace.